everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I thought I would review the SPY here. We had a nice rally in the market on Friday and you know whatever the reason is it doesn't even matter. At this point now the market has to get up on around and going if it's really gonna hold and the question remains to be seen. Is it going to hold? We had a steep drop off here in the month of December almost straight down but then we had a big rally 1226 was the rally okay that was the day after was it the day after christmas yeah it was it was the day after christmas yeah so we had a big rally there and this trading action that we saw here this first week of the year is very very much what i'm talking about when i'm explaining volatility where you think somebody's going in one direction and it goes in another direction and you think it's going in one direction and it goes in another direction so here you had the market gap down to start the year, but then rally, not fall. Then you had the market gap down here, the second day of the year, on the third, fell. This was the day that Apple fell and gapped down and fell from the news that they were going to have low sales. Then you had the market gap up here. This is on the fourth. Good data came out, and we had a nice big fat rally on the day. So some people are looking at this as a rallying to resistance. Some people are looking at this from follow through from down here. Some people are wondering now if this is the bottom here, if they should buy it. Either way, the way you look at it, if you day trade, there was both ways that you could have traded the market. If you're in the market long term and you didn't get out anywhere in the drop off, then the market's still holding the uptrend. If you want to get back in, it's never a good idea to buy bottoms. However, the market did gap up on Friday and you could have bought the gap up. So you could have bought this gap up here if you wanted it. So we'll see where it takes us. Question is, was it a day trade or is it going to provide some follow through here from the market? Overall, we're going to have to wait and see. I do think we're going to see a lot of volatility Monday and Tuesday in the market because of the talks with the trade deal with China. So we'll have to see. Good luck, everyone. If you're interested in learning how to trade gaps with me, my Golden Gap class, the first class for the year for 2019, is January 12th and 13th. Don't delay. Sign up if you're interested. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. Thanks and have a great day.